Hello, my nieces and nephews. I hope you're doing amazing today. It is me, Auntie Kay, and welcome back to my channel. So, I, you know, comment down below how you've been doing, what's been going on in your lives. I try to keep this channel as an open conversation. Um, also, I wanted to say good luck to all you students into the new school year, and good luck to all you people for the new fall. If you're, like, in work, good luck to you since fall is coming up. Uh, inshallah, it's all good for you. Um, I also just wanted to like introduce this video. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, um, normally in my channel we just kind of do day in the lives, we do clothing hauls, we do random hauls, like we do phone cases, purses, um, just like accessories. Um, there's one video where I did a random wish haul, a random Amazon haul, I've done clothing hauls from Torrid, from Meyer, from East Essence, and I will leave those up in the upper right hand corner for you so you can also can check those out. I also just wanted to say if you do end up liking this video by the end, uh, don't hesitate to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can stay notified for future videos. So for this video today, we're just going to do a clothing haul and it's going to be a Muslim plus size clothing haul. And we're also going to do a dollar store haul, which in my last video I did say I wanted to try to do a dollar store haul to show you some cool finds because I normally don't go to the dollar store to find cool, neat things, uh, technological things um, in general. Since it's like a dollar, I don't really trust it. I also wanted to show that. So we'll start with that though, and then we'll get into the clothing haul. Okay? All right. Let's get into it. So at the dollar store, I didn't buy too much items in relation to technology. They did have a lot of chargers, and I think the max length on a charger was 6 foot, and I wanted 10 feet, and I did get a 10 foot uh, phone charger from Menards. Uh, I also saw that they had headphones. They didn't have AirPods, but I went to Five Below, and they ended up having AirPods. So I got those in purple, and I'll probably just have a picture of it. I won't like show it to you ear pods am i saying ear pods or ear pods i feel like they're ear pods anyways i'll just have a picture of it i won't show it to you in this video because yeah i i just feel like we've seen what ear pods look like i'm not gonna show you but they do work they came with a charger five below i think i paid like five no i paid eight dollars for them yeah so i paid under ten dollars for them and they're purple as you saw in the picture but yeah they're they're really cool they work really good too so yeah but i all getting into the dollar store haul though i got this phone stand so it's like got three sides this side essentially is just to go into this and go into the ridges so you set it like that and then you put your phone in this nook and i will try to get a picture of what it would look like with a phone in that stand right so actually the dollar store raised its pricing so now it's a dollar 25 per item instead of a dollar per item otherwise it's totally chill I also got a black and gold shower hair bonnet shower cap hair bonnet whatever this is what it looks like and yeah dollar 25 I needed a hair bonnet because sometimes, you know, you want to do henna, you want to dye your hair, do a perm, things like that happen. So, a hair bonnet. Um, the next item, I got two hair clips, and they were titled Zodiac Hair Clips, and I got one for me and one for my mom. So, I happen to be a Scorpio, so I got me a Scorpio hair clip, and I got my mom a Pisces hair clip. Yeah, I think they were cute. So... The next thing I got on my list, I in my last video, as I showed, I wanted to get a facial roller, so I ended up getting one. And it's a, the color green. That's what it looks like. You just roll it in your face, like this picture is telling you to do. <laughs> yeah, so essentially that's what it is. You can also use it for masks, so when you get a sheet mask, put it on, you can roll it out to make it smooth all over your face. That was also what I wanted to get this for. And then the last thing I got was this Silica Facial Mask Applicator. I'm trying to roll it 
down. There it is. And I also got this from the dollar store, which was really surprising to find there. But the dollar store is really picking up some slack um, in the items that they sell there. Anyways, so I got this again for $1.25. And I think this is, oh, does it say the color? I feel like this is in like coral or peach. Yeah. So it's a mask applicator. And that's what I got from the dollar store. I will also try to leave a timestamp below so that you can just skip ahead to where I do the clothing haul, which is what we're getting to now since we finished the dollar store haul. And I wanted to really get that out of my system and kind of show off what I got from the dollar store just to inspire other people to like not spend $5 on a makeup applicator when you can spend $1.25, <laughs> you know, and just show off like, hey, the dollar store is, it's coming out. It's coming up and yeah, check them out. So yeah, let's get into the clothing. So like I said, I got some clothes from East Essence. Oh, can you see it? Yep. I got three packages from East Essence and yeah. So this is one and then this is another one and then this is the final one. Okay, so let's try them on. So this is the first of the three dresses. It's of the more fancy kind. And wow, it's wrinkly, but I love the bell sleeve on it. I love the color, 360 rotation to show you all sides. Yeah, there's the bell sleeves. I really love that aspect of this dress as well as the color and how it looks silk and nice. This second dress is black and pink together. Um, there's the beads that you can clearly see so that the string doesn't get lost in the uh, jacket. And it is two separate layers. I'm trying to illustrate that to you right now, but I will show you a better example of this later in the video. And yeah, so that is this dress right here. Another 360 rotation just to show you. And I'm lifting it up again as to illustrate again that it is two separate pieces, but there will be a better illustration of that later in this video. More posing, just to show off. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. It's enough slices. Okay, here's the final dress after all those slices. Um, it's like a khaki with a mustard yellow tone. Ignore that. That's my rope that I was wearing earlier in the video. I'm pointing that out for no reason. Um, yep, this is the outfit. And trying to illustrate again that they're two separate pieces. And it's gonna pop in my head to go and show you. Yep, there, wait one moment. We're going back. Okay, so that's the black overlayer. And then that's the pink dress. And I'm illustrating to you in a better way to show that these are actually not connected at all. It's just like an over shawl with a dress. So yeah, but that is this one. More posing. 360 rotation. There's the sleeve buttons that you can see better on my elbows. Yeah. Okay. So before we conclude this video, there's one more thing I wanted to show you and that is the planner I got on Amazon. This one. It is actually really nice. I know this isn't really part of the dollar store haul or the East Essence Muslim clothing haul, um, but my mother said she really, really wanted to see this. So I'm going to start with the front and it says planner for 2022, 2023. And this is actually my last school year, uh, really my last school semester is in the fall, but I do love planners and I will continue to use them probably throughout the rest of my life. Um, it, when you open it up, you'll see a ruler and then the opening page. So if I could just, I'm trying to get the ruler out cause it can come out. And then you can use it, I think, how many is this? I can't see. Okay, so it is a seven inch ruler. I thought it was six inch, but it's seven inch, so it's half a foot. But that's not too bad. All right, then I have to figure out how to put it back in. Oh, not too bad. Hard to get out than to get in. Okay, and then again, beginning page, you put your name, address, and then phone, email. I normally just put my name and then the email, which is my school email, because it's like, yeah, <laughs> if it's your school or professional email, it's not too bad then to give out your phone number and address to complete strangers if you lose your planner. Like, I always thought. All right, thank you for your patience. Sorry about that, my camera fell. Okay, getting back into this planner before we get to the conclusion of this video. 
Okay, anyways. But when you get into the calendar portion, this is what it looks like. So I started with August and then the calendar. Obviously, this is a planner. And then I really like it because it's an 8x11 planner. So it, if you have larger handwriting, it's really good. And then you can go into the days of the week. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And this side has Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and notes. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. And in the little corner, it actually shows that you're in the first week of August. When you turn the page to go to the second week, it'll highlight to you that you're in the second week of August, and so on and so forth. And it's really, really a neat, neat ugh, planner. There's the third. All right. And then at the very back, so a lot of planners will have at the very back, like your metric tables, your measurement tables, your count, your not calendar. It's like a map. It's like a lot of neat stuff in the back. So this one actually, I don't think it has any of that. It does have a notes section, which a lot do. And then it has graphing paper, which is unusual, but yeah. Instead of having like a map of the world and America, it will have this graph paper. And then it has like a little folder area right here where you can put papers and things. And then at the very back, you get this. So you can section off. All right, there you go. So you can section off. So along with having monthly tabs you can also just section it off so when you close the calendar the not the calendar the planner eventually i'll get it closed you'll have an area hold on you can't really see it there but you'll have an area where you've sectioned it off i don't really like that to, or i wouldn't really like to use it that way because this paper is really sensitive and rather than that you could just use it to keep it closed or not use that band at all or in general you know I'll just do it to keep it closed. And it's also a hard cover. So I think it's made of cardboard rather than plastic like it normally is. So yeah, it's just neat. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the closing portion of the video. Okay, so this is the closing, closing portion and I just wanted to talk about the clothes in this portion. The first dress I tried on, which was the fancier of the outfits, you know, to go to weddings or eat parties and stuff. Um, that one I thought would have a tie around the waist. It didn't, so I, that kind of messed me up a bit. The other thing is I wish I sized down in it, but that's fine as well. And then the last thing is it's very, very wrinkly. Like that kind of threw me off a bit too, of how wrinkly it was when I had opened it and when I was wearing it, as you saw, it just had wrinkles all over. So I would recommend steaming it before, you know, it's usage to go to their eat parties or the wedding parties. So yeah, steaming it. Would recommend ironing it though. And then of the other dresses, so like I said, or showed you earlier, they're two separate. The top piece has a collar and you just fold it over like so. It has already creases where you can do that. And then the strings have a bead at the end. So you can keep track of them. That's just that. It also, the sleeves are rolled up a little bit. And I think there's like a button. Yeah, for the sleeve, there's a button to keep it rolled up so that you can see the sleeve of the underdress. But going into the underdress, I had no idea if you can see, hold on, my hand, how see-through these dresses are. They're one, super lightweight, so they're great for wearing in the summer or in really, really heat and, uh, not heat, but hot environments. But yeah, you can definitely see my hand as I'm going through. So that's one thing I had no idea about. The other thing about these is, well, both the fancier dress and these dresses, they have a zipper in the back right here and you can just pull them all the way down about mid back toward your mid thoracic. And then again, you pull them right up to the collar. So yeah. And then the front of the dress, 
this is how it looks. I don't know if you can tell how see-through. Oh yeah, you can see straight through that, even with both materials. Yeah, so it's very see-through. I would recommend having a slip dress underneath it when you wear it. It, yeah, I don't think I read or saw that when I was on the website about how see-through the first layer is of the dress when you're wearing it. So yeah, but that's the conclusion of the video and the items that were shown in this video. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video very much and that you will have some suggestions for future videos down in the comment section below. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below about what you didn't like of the video or what you did like, so I'll try to, you know, keep up with that. And also, if you would like to check out my channel, I will also leave a link down below. And if you like what you see on my channel, do not hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are uh, notified of future videos. All right. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye.